Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, you guys, white supremacist Daniel Lewis Lee, who murdered family of three, was put to death by a legal injection in the first federal execution in 17 years as he screamed, I didn't do it! Just hours after Supreme Court's 5-4 vote. Uh, Daniel Lee, 47, of Yukon, Oklahoma, is now dead. He died by lethal injection this morning at the federal prison in Terre Haute, Indiana. His final words were, I didn't do it. You're killing an innocent man. Lee, a self-confessed white supremacist, was convicted in Arkansas of the 1996 killing of William Muller, his wife Nancy, and their eight-year-old daughter Sarah Powell. His execution went ahead after a series of legal volleys that ended when the Supreme Court stepped in early Tuesday in a 5-4 ruling. The decision to move forward with execution drew scrutiny from civil rights groups and the relatives of Lee's victims who sued to have it stopped. The relatives were concerned about attending the execution during the coronavirus pandemic, saying they could put them at risk. Critics argue that Trump's administration, in which pushed for the uh, executions, was creating an unnecessary and manufactured urgency for political gain. Two other federal inmates are also scheduled to be executed later this week. Wow, he got one eye, huh? Anyway, the U.S. government executed the first federal inmate in almost two decades, just hours after the Supreme Court cleared the way overnight in a, with a 5-4 ruling. Uh, Daniel Lewis Lee of Yukon, Oklahoma, died by lethal injection in the morning, this morning, at the federal prison in Terry Holt, Indiana. Okay? Again, y'all, uh, he killed the family. He said, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I'm not a murderer, and you guys are killing an innocent man. His execution came over the objection of the victim's family. And was carried out after a series of legal volleys that ended when the Supreme Court again stepped in with this 5-4 to four ruling. The decision to move forward with the execution has drawn scrutiny. The other federal inmates are scheduled to be executed this week. And a third will be going on next month. Um, Lee, a self-confessed supremacist, was accused of killing William Muller and his wife and their eight, again, year old daughter, Sarah Powell. Prosecutors said Lee and Kehoe incapacitated the Merlers and questioned eight-year-old Sarah about where they could find money and ammunition. Then they used the stun gun on the victims, sealed trash bags and duct tape on their heads to suffocate them, tape rocks to their bodies, and dumped them in a nearby bayou. Mm, mm, mm. Oh well. Well, he's gone now. And the thing about it is the relatives, those killed by Lee in 1996, strongly opposed that the idea of the idea. And he long, they long argued that Lee deserved a sentence of life in prison. They wanted to be present to counter any contention that the execution was being done on their behalf. But argued that they could not be there because they put themselves at risk for the COVID-19. If they attended. So. Daniel. 
Louis Lee, who murdered that family of three back there in 2019. I mean, 2019. Um, 1996. Oh, well. He is no more. Because he was executed. Wow. 